Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Lee Sin in the jungle. First things first, you wanna invade, start Q, then you get W, E, max Q first, W second, and E last. You want to hit Conquer, Triumph, Lakadooth, Coup de Grasse, Free Boots, Cosmic. Ooh, hey friend. We're gonna hit it with Q. We're gonna hold on for as long as we can, and we get first blood. It's really, really big for us. We'll go ahead and get a ward down as well. In a perfect world when you invade, you get a kill, you get your ward down. Even if you don't get a kill, if you do get your ward down, maybe get a flash, that's also good because you want to know where the enemies are starting. You don't really want to have to get oracles on Lee Sin. Having wards to hop to is really nice for his W, for escapes, if we're running people down for a W ward hop, slow them, then Q. For landing on Lee Sin, it's very important for his Q. You either get close to them first, you slow them with E, slow them with Smite, or you R them, then Q. Because if you're consistently missing your Qs, you're consistently missing out. Also, avoid doing full clears on Lee Sin. He's a great soloist, a good invader, and a solid ganker. But full clearing is not really his forte. You need roughly 4 to 5 empowered auto attacks to avoid having to put in normal autos like we are here. After using an ability, your next two auto attacks have extra attack speed from your passive. So once you're level 2, you can almost perpetually stay attack speed steroided at level three it's very easy to do without thinking about it all i'm gonna do here is a very very tight clear we'll go ahead and hit him with a q and we're auto mon down we ended up wasting one or two empowered autos there that's all right though because i'm still playing around kind of the cooldowns of my abilities your Q2 is an execute, so you want to try to put in as much damage as you can before you use your Q2. So that includes your E, your autos. Every single one of your abilities, you benefit from using it as late as possible. Because the cooldown starts from when you first activate it. So getting it kind of started to go on cooldown from first activation is really potent. Go ahead and hold on to my smite and made his jungle. With double smite, we can take more of his camps. Head on over and probably get a kill if you have his camps. Lee Sin does really well against full clear junglers, at least in the early game. Go ahead and hit the potion. Should find him on this Q from bush. I'll attack Q, get him with the E. Down he goes. Looks like he still had his Krugs ready to take. I'll go ahead and grab those as well. Hop right over. We want to get our E down nice and early because it's a lot of AoE damage. Very nice. So he misses out on Krugs. We're level 4. Beautiful. Very good start. I want to pass GP without him seeing me there, so I'll go ahead and blow my ward. If Mumu shows up, even if he has a slight item advantage, we have red buff. Blue buff should be able to fight him. It's pretty much always Q max. Get down our E nice and early. Every single auto attack here is empowered. Delicious. It's mainly level 1 and level 2. You have to focus on uh, getting off as many empowered autos as possible once you're level 3 and up. Happens a lot more consistently and naturally since you have an extra 2 abilities to use. Went ahead and reset. I feel like LeBlanc must have seen me there, how she went in. It must have been warded. Amumu's level 3. He's going to push for his bot side jungle here. Oh, he's on my wraps. Alright, I'll head straight over there. He might actually be able to take them before I can even get there. I'm still going to push into his jungle. His Gromp should be up. He has 20 CS, which means he took a single camp um, after I killed him because he had 16 CS. So We'll head bot and then invade his jungle. I'd like to go bot with my red buff while I have it. Iron Spike Whip's really solid. You can E, Iron Spike, or E Gore Drink, and it's really fluid, really smooth. We can E Flash into her to get our slow on her. So I have my Q just in case for when she dashes. There's also minions and stuff in the way. Get him with our slow. We take a single turret shot. Soraka autoed. We'll shield ourselves when we're chilling. Surprise Soraka when ignite. It's a little abnormal. I don't really want to back. I don't know where LeBlanc is, but I should be fine. If you dash to a non-champion, so if you don't dash to yourself or an ally, you miss out on the shield. Go ahead and smite him down. Shield ourselves. Go in with the Q2. Once we deal as much damage as possible. Once you have a little bit of ability haste, if you wait to wait to use your Q2, then you can kind of double Q. It's 
it's pretty pretty spicy we'll show you kind of what that looks like here but we don't have enough ability haste to really do it but it's still the same idea with all your abilities so if we just let, still let it here and simmer then we use our q2 it's already pretty much off of cooldown because it starts from the when you first start it up so the cooldown starts is from the initialization go ahead and smite it get it off as many auto attacks as we can then going for q2 it can be a little bit dangerous because sometimes you'll accidentally not click your q2 in time and then it will completely run out it is what it is gp has sheen i'm missing a big chunk of hell i would like to get some fruit here before i go in but as long as it doesn't hit me with a barrel i should be fine get him with the q attachment the e-slow I we weaved in an iron so oh, Fjord's dead. <laughs> that wasn't very worth. Minions blocked me as well. I kind of just need to back off now. Yeah, this is just dangerous. A little unfortunate. It was kind of close. Fjord has grass, so her damage output is relatively limited. I gotta blow my nose real quick. Hopefully, movement doesn't kill me. Why well, I'm recalling. <laughs> We're in a really good spot. So at after the early game and you're kind of transitioning more into the mid game like we are here you need to start playing for dragons you're not going to solo dragons on lee sin kind of pre-level six there's no point since you have such good invades and such good ganks he's not like a shivana or necessarily a warwick where choosing a drag might be his best option so what we'll do here is get six maybe invade the amumu look for drag we want to try to start playing towards our bot side to maximize the uh, dragon taking potential. Dragons are very OP. Amu does out scales as well. Lee Sin's very bad late game. Even if you get every dragon, Lee Sin's late game is still pretty poop. That sucks that I kind of wasted that. Right as Amu showed up. Having Q on cooldown is not ideal when the enemies are there. Hey, friend. We should have got him with an E and an Iron Spike. Iron Spike doesn't do that much damage, though. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to my Q. So I can uh, use that if somebody shows up. He's going to die if he goes to that. This little Blanc's annoying. I ended up missing out on that pretty hard there. We don't have our mid laner here, but it's actually turning out all right. Go an R or wait. <laughs> I think I accidentally might have clicked her clone there. Get the slow on Amumu. I'll attack in the Iron Spike. Swing gets the kill. That's fine. We'll go for Dragon. We need to keep as much pressure on the enemy jungler as possible in our first clear. After we take three to five camps. And also, if we have a lead after that, we need to be messing with them as much as possible when their buffs are spawning. We fall off. Lee Sin is the worst champion to play if you want to autopilot full clear your jungler. I actually lean more towards autopilot full clears because it's relaxing. It's super straightforward. Lee Sin, you pretty much always have to be looking on the mini map to make sure you're not missing out on an opportunity. Like bot lane, my bot lane's resetting right now. And enemy bot lane just got back to lane. So we could either go kill Moo on red buff here or we can do Krugs into a bot lane gank Sivir. Just wasted my time though. She should have recalled when Swain recalled and she would have been right here, but instead she just stayed randomly for no reason. Swain's pretty fed. We might be actually be able to do this without the Sivir. Maybe. I don't have my R. There, Soraka isn't 6 though, so... Maybe. I think Ziri just saw me, I can't tell. Get the dash, the slow on her, auto attack into the Q. We try to use it until after. She's kind of getting around us a bit there on the Q2. Get her the slow into Q at point blank range. Auto attack into Q, we can no longer reach her with autos. Plus, she's lower on health, so the Q2 chunks. Alright, so that actually turned out really well. Just because they were behind, we were able to do it 2v2 instead of needing our AD carry. Moon with top side, he hasn't taken my blue buff. Looks like he's on the scuttle crab. I should probably be able to get there in time because you take enemy jungle camp slower than your own 20% from your item is why. Your jungle item. Against their team. Oh, it's looking like a Lucid's type of game. 
The thing is, they have a really good mix of AD and AP. GP, Ziri, AD, Amumu, LeBlanc, and Soraka AP, but obviously Amumu, Soraka doing minimal damage. So it's kind of like 2 AP, 2 AD. You could make the argument for Merc Trez, but since I'm ahead, Lucizer will be better. If you're not ahead, or if you're really the only frontline on your team, then you're going to be going plated or Mercs really just about every time. Which is fine. Since I'm ahead and I have Swain to frontline with me, should be okay. If you're working kind of frontline, she's more of a split pusher though. We save Q2 for as long as possible. We head top here, another point in W. Oof, I don't have a word to jump to, it's kind of annoying. Love to kill GPs, doesn't have a full item. We could take Carol here since Dragon's on a cooldown. I kind of want to E flash him. Get the slow into Q, we get his flash. By do using your E first and flashing, you catch a lot of people off guard. Because if you flash then E, a lot of times they'll just immediately panic flash and you won't actually land the E because the E has like a quarter second startup animation. E has more range than your autos. By slowing them first with your E or your smite, it makes landing Q easier, as you can imagine. I think Vex is freezing. Bit of a weird choice versus a LeBlanc, I suppose, unless she's worried about getting ganked. Remember, using E and Gore Drinker at the same time is pretty good. If you need Gore Drinker for survivability, because you're worried about how much damage they're going to do to you, you want to save Gore Drinker until you're lower on health, though. So LeBlanc's annoying. I think this is warded as well. I guess not. We're chilling. Vex wastes R, that's okay. I really should be playing for my uh, for the Rift Herald up right now since I have a lead. Could look for a dive bot side perhaps. I'm surprised to see a Sivir doing so well. Sivir's kind of crap. Crap champion. I don't feel like chasing Aziri who's all sped up. Instead I'll just take this guy's camp. I have my ward. And pull it out away from the wall a bit. And have my smite as well. One more auto. There we go. He loses his blue buff. Very nice for us. Auto attack into Q. Look for red buff here into dragon. Top lane went neutral. Mid lane went neutral. And I'd say we won our bot lane for bot lane. They're really tied up in CS right now. Moon is top side. That means I need to play down here. Hey, Soraka. She lines herself up on the wall a bit. I think I can take this. I can't even get to it. She burned Ignite on me and R, so it's kind of whatever. I could have used R sooner, but I couldn't really kill anybody with it is the thing. The double LeBlanc chain wrecked me out. My Gore drinks up. I'm gonna have to just kick her away. She used her R on me. And I'm kind of low health. Ooh, that actually missed. It's a little surprising. I still have my smite to deal with this. I'll be taking that and the dragon. Getting close to my jungle item being finished. Typically, you'll be finishing jungle item around 15 minute mark on any jungler. It's going to be a bit later for us because I've only been doing so much farming. Relatively minimal amount of farming, to be honest. Passive giving us 40% attack speed for two autos after every ability. Very nice. 40% doesn't scale interesting. Normally, those type of abilities do, but Lee Sin's doesn't. They seem to know I'm here. Yeah, they know. They're paying attention. Again, hold on to my award, Q over the wall, and we're chilling. At least in a lot of times you don't want to play on locked cam when you're trying to do combos, especially if you're trying to hop to a ward in the middle of a Q or something. Because in the middle of your Q travel, you can W to something if you want to. It's generally not that useful, but it can be. Ah. Oof, just a little late on my part. Go mid for the Amumu. We have double dragon. We'll be playing for soul here. 
And also still trying to take as many of Mumu camps as possible. He's not a full item. We can easily solo him. We slow him. Then we use our Q. This LeBlanc's really low. Down she goes. I guess we can fight this. Why am I running away? <laughs> it actually looks like an easy fight. Swain's doing a load of damage. I wouldn't blame these guys for... Uh, FFing here. Swain's really, really strong. Definitely could have stayed in on that fight. And proceed to take his camps. If all my camps are up, it's fine. We don't need to even really farm our jungle. I'll be trying to kill this guy. I don't want it to actually do anything. Goodbye, Harold. Harold's not very useful when you're behind if you can't take the map. Harold is usually better if you're ahead. It helps you to end the game sooner. Get a kill, push it with hard. It's unfortunate. I should have just waited. I could get a bit closer. Sorok is a huge issue for sure. This is a bad fight. Sivir way too deep underneath their turret. Swain doesn't have R either. This is bad. Just trying to get them away from him. I don't want to really fight this. Someone just tried to rage quit after dying there. Yikes. Probably the Sivir. When we have two dragon advantage and <laughs> three times their kills. It's kind of funny. Looks like this is going to give us our full jungle item. I can back for Black Cleaver here probably. I'll be backing for that in a moment. If I can keep Mumu from getting his full jungle item. Make this game a bit easier. Hey Ziri. Got her again. Very nice. Kind of got her with the double Q there because we held on to the Q2 for as long as possible. So you kind of saw what I meant when I said as you get more and more ability haste, you can kind of just double Q. We hit her with our R before we Q2 to maximize the damage. Uh, it really wants to chase this, huh? The block might actually be here. I'm okay with that, though. Go ahead and flash that. I'm actually dead. I don't have Gore Drinker up. We kill the Soraka, but they presumably get, yeah, 1,000 gold from killing me. Too much of a limit test on my part. Also need the Black Cleaver. This is looking like a Hex Drinker type of game. Zeri's giving very limited value. I'm not having to interact with GP at all since if you were split pushing, they're kind of just dueling it down in the split. So This is one of those games where you go Hex Drinker third item instead of Death Stance third item. You very rarely go Sterix. Sterix is if they have a really good mix of neutral damages that you're constantly having to interact with, so true damage, physical, magic. And you just want some HP. Main issue with Sterix is it doesn't give you ability haste, which is super useful on Lee Sin for ability spam. We need playing for Dragon, obviously, here, right when it spawns. I Amumu mean, still doesn't have his jungle item. My teammates should try to take all of his camps. That way he can't finish it. Hopefully, people understand how the new jungle items work. I'm not sure if laners really do, but. We can stop him from finishing it. That's a big shield and tenacity he won't have. And we have Vex, Fear, Swain, Pull. Fior, Slow, My, Slow. So Tenacity can go a long way against our comp. Yeah, they're trying to take his Gromp. How many treats does he have? He has one, so that's going to count as two. So he'll need roughly three more camps. Hey, LeBlanc. Ooh, I need to get over there. Sivir's way out of position again. She's going to get killed by Amumu of all people. That's such an oof. Amumu, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'll let Swain carry. Amumu kind of panic flashes in. Wow, I actually missed my Q there. Oh, got it. Hey, friends. Go ahead and just R away. Back onto the Zeri. E slow. Ward dash. Smiter down. Gore drink. Auto them down. If you can manage to build yourself a lead through invades and ganks, Lee Sin and team fights is easy. But if you fail to build a lead through invades and ganks, then Lee Sin's team fight is absolutely horrible poop. We should just go for dragon here. Sivir just needs to back up. 
and uh, let Swain tank. Because even if a Mumu jumps on Swain, Swain's main support source of damage is in his Big Bird mode. In Big Bird mode, even if he CC'd, he's still outputting the damage constantly in healing. So, Swain's low key our unofficial frontline tank. That's what this Sivir is trying to compete with. She's trying to out tank the Swain <laughs> by being the first one in, first one dead. Ooh, there's Soraka. Amumu is about to finish his jungle item. It's annoying. Yeah, it looks like he probably finished it there. We could definitely take Baron here. I'd prefer to get a kill before we do, though. I kind of see where his team's at. Yeah, I'm just trying to pull him out. I saw the enemies had like two people in their base there, so it just made sense to bait them a little bit. Amu thinks he can fight at 1v2. Dash on over. Let's see what we can get out of this. Yeah, we can actually get turret out here, I think. That's decent. That's an it, It's one of the uh, inner turrets. It's not an outer, so it's worth something. It's a lot of vision and map control. It is Baron time. Don't mind if I do. And Q smite, very nice. Q2 smite. Now all we need to do is play for drags. Keep trying to exert pressure where we can and pay close attention to the mini map. So they're all kind of topside right now. Mumu, Soraka, Mumu, Mumu, Soraka, LeBlanc. What am I saying? Let's go ahead and pick up Ma and a bit more HP. I don't really want a Guardian Angel necessarily. I would rather get... I mean, I guess that's what we'll do. It'd be nice if we could build Sterex, but since we have Ma, they both count as a lifeline item, so you can't stack them up. Everything at this point is situational. Spear of Shojin is not horrible on Lee Sen. I wouldn't mind having that actually. A lot of really useful stats. I would recommend having a special hotkey set up for Lee Sen on his W to self cast instantly instead of having to click it on yourself. And I'd also recommend having a hotkey for Gore Drink. That way you can Gore Drink E at the same time, make it really smooth. Really, really smooth. Hey, yo, Mumu. Oh, I tried to... <laughs> I tried to dash back over, but I couldn't reach the ward. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's not what I was trying to do at all. That's why you have to have your cursor hovered and not lock screen too much on Lee Sin like that. That's what I was trying to do, but since I locked my screen, it kind of moved. It moves your whole screen, so it changes where your cursor is. So, But if you take it off lock screen, then you can just set it there while you're flying in midair from the queue. Wait, if yours backing here, we have to back. We don't have any pressure. We are getting a little bit of damage onto their turret, but ultimately we are kind of just waiting for Drag Soul. And since Fjord doesn't have any pressure, there's no reason for us to do anything too crazy right now. I've already thrown away a thousand. Ooh, what in the world is LeBlanc doing? She's just asking for it. Our goal in a team fight right now is to basically just be frontline for our team. I can't necessarily get to their back line because they have too much of a front line. So if I can kick their tank into their team, because your R does more damage if you kick a big fat boy into everybody, that would be good. We could just R flash, flash R. Oh, that's not good. I'm just going to kick you away, buddy. I got it kind of got slipped up on my movements there. I had to get a movement off of me ASAP. Get onto the Swain. Let's give him a shield. Oh, got it. Nice. Yeah, the Swain's a huge buffer. I can't move. Oh, I can't shield myself, but that's all right. We got quite a bit of value. Ended up getting the kill on Ziri. Kind of set up the GP. Got a Mumu low. Big Mumu engage, and I think we win here. Should be the win. I don't know if Fior was actually participating in that fight, but that went really, really well. I'm happy with that.
that should be GG's. We didn't quite get to play for the Draxel all the way, but at least in a nutshell, guys. Good invades, three to five camps, good ganks. And you want to try to end your games pre-30, 35 minute mark if you can. So we got damage dealt, damage taken. For damage dealt, Timmy champions, we had one of the highest in the game. For damage taken, pretty decent amount. And for runes, really high value. All in all, Lee Sin jungle, super, super, super frantic champion. If you don't like constantly looking on the minimap, constantly analyzing the most optimal thing you can possibly do in that given minute, I would not recommend him. He's certainly not beginner friendly, but if you're passionate about the champion, just remember he's pretty invade heavy, he's soloist heavy, and he's gank heavy. He is not a full clear style jungler. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.